One of the most coolest mods about bees is probably Productive Bees. It allows you to create nests, breed unique bees and gather materials like diamonds. I hope you guys, I'm York Mouse, and today we are reviewing all features of the mod Productive Bees. Use the timestamps below to get to the section you want. Basics. Before I tell you the basics of how to get started, you need to understand the concept of productive bees. Throughout the world you will find nests that will have the so-called solitary bees. These are actually only useful for one thing, breeding, to get bees from either the category hive, professional or modded, like e.g. iron bee. These bees can produce cums, which are a good farming way. If you understood that concept, you're good to go. Well, welcome to Productive Bees. At first, I introduce you to the basic mechanisms and items. First things first, there is the bee cage. <laughs> These are very handy for transporting bees, but will break upon release. And if you have patchouli installed, you can also make the guidebook with one bee cage. Then there are also honey treats, which can calm down angry bees and will also be used for genetics, but that isn't fully implemented yet. And the last item you need to know right now is the nest locator, which lets you find nests. To start, you first need to find some vanilla bees. They spawn in forests to get some of that honey. Useful, for example, for bee cages. But you will also need a ton of honeycombs for the new beehive, the so-called advanced beehives. What's so advanced about them? Well, they have a GUI. With them, you can see how many bees are in your nests and how much they produce. And in the middle slot, you can leave glass bottles so they fill themselves up with honey. The basic advanced beehives can hold up to three bees at once, but if you want to expand, craft an expansion box which makes room for two more bees. They can be placed on top of beehives and one can only have one expansion. Solitary bees. Now to more advanced stuff, because you probably want bees like iron, diamond, copper or whatever. The last thing you need to know before we look at all of these solitary bees is that they spawn in different nests. Nests generate naturally throughout the world, that can be disabled, but can also be crafted. After a while, bees that are home to these nests will spawn if all conditions are met. Like for example, a normal dirt nest can be anywhere, but a snow nest must be in a snowy biome or the quartz one in the nether, so that it will work. The conditions you can view with JI. Here you can see all nests that are added by productive bees. All wood, dirt and stone nests can be placed in any overworld biome. Sand must be in desert, gravel in beaches, snow in snowy biomes, slimy in swamps, reed near water, glowstone, soul sand, quartz, nether brick and nether gold in the nether, and stone and obsidian in the end. Now to the solitary bees. Solitary bees don't produce combs or honey, they can't go into hives and are just used to breed. These are ashy mining bee, dirt, sand and gravel nest, blue bandit bee or wood nests, green and yellow or black carpet bee or wood types, chocolate mining bee, dirt, sand, gravel, digger bee, gravel or sand, leaf cutter, reed or dirt, mason, stone or reed, neon cuckoo bee in the nest of a blue bandit bee, nomad bee, same nest as the ashy mining bee, reed bee, reed nests, resin bee, all wood nests, sweat bee, snow nests, and that were all of these solitary bees. Machines and upgrades. Before we talk about wild bees, which you can now breed because you have the solitary bees, we need to take a look into the machines because wild bees produce material combs. Actually, there's only one machine that you need right now. In total, there are three ones, but what you really always need is the centrifuge. The centrifuge is used to collect materials from combs. The powered version uses RF energy, but it is three times faster. Here, I used mechanism. It will be linked in the description below. It outputs the material and honey. Honey can either be manually extracted with bottles or if you have another mod installed like mechanism, then you can connect a bottler to the centrifuge which will boil all of the honey into honey bottles. Also, you may have noticed these slots on the right side. It's for upgrades. These are also in the advanced oak beehives. The first one is productivity. It increases the production by 80%. This can be installed multiple times. Time decreases the time spent in a hive by 20% can also be stacked. With the breeding upgrade, there is a 5% chance that a new baby bee will be born each honeycomb. Can also be stacked. 
Come block changes that you will get honeycomb blocks instead of honeycombs, but uh, the time in the hive is increased by 40%. Last but not least, the anti-teleportation upgrade is one that you will love later in game. There's this one bee, which is really crucial to get high-end bees, the ender bee, but it can teleport through blocks, making it really hard to take care of. But with this upgrade, everything is solved. Wild bees. The types of bees are mostly used for breeding, to acquire high tier bees like diamond or lapis, but they can also produce combs. They will spawn if their nest has met its condition. Slimy bees can be found in their slimy nests in swarms. They produce slimy combs which can be turned into slime balls. Crystallite bees spawn in a quartz nest, thing that is made out of quartz. They produce combs that can be made into quartz. Glowing bees in glowstone nest, glowstone and produce glowstone dust. The magmatic bee in nether brick nest, nether wood block or magma block produces magma cream. They give you also fire resistance when you are near them. Ghostly bee in soul and sand nest, soul sand produces gas tears but only with a 5% chance. Ender bee are the ones that teleport, so you should add the upgrade anti teleportation to your hive. They spawn in endstone nests, chorus fruits and generate ender pearl with a 40% chance. Draconic bees are the boss bees. They spawn in obsidian nests, only dragon eggs, and produce draconic dusts, which can be crafted into an inactive dragon egg. With dragon breath, you can make it active. Last but not least, there is the sugarback bee, which can be found in her nest. Looks like a normal one, but darker. Right now it isn't completely implemented yet, but it will be in the future. Hive bees. Now we are at the section everyone wants. A hive bees only acquired through breeding or custom condition. Let's start. Breed an ashy mining and a crystalline bee to get an iron bee. Iron blocks and produce iron. Breed glowing and chocolate to get redstone bee. Redstone blocks produce four redstone. Breed blue bandit with redstone to get lapis. Lapis blocks and produces five lapis. To get a coal one, breed blazing with leaf cutter. Any flower produce coal. Breed magmatic and sweat to get obsidian bees. Obsidian produce one obsidian block. Breed ender and lapis to get a diamond bee. Diamond blocks produce diamond. To get an emerald one, slimy and diamond emerald blocks produce emeralds. Skeletal and zombie bees are special bees that will automatically move in an empty hive if it's left in the dark. Normal flowers and produce bone meal and two rotten flesh. The creeper TNT is created when you stuff TNT into a vanilla bee, flowers and produces gunpowder. Breed a magmatic bee with a no man one to get blazing, flowers and produce blaze rods with a 40% chance. Last but not least, to acquire the withered bee, feed a skeletal bee a wither rose, so wither roses and produces wither skull chips which can be crafted into a wither skull. Professional bees. Uh, these bees are special ones because they have unique behaviors. How do you get them? Through breeding. Now let's talk about all of them. The farmer bee will harvest crops and leave the product on the ground. Acquired per breeding lumber and rancher bee. The rancher bee milks cows and creates milky combs in his hive, which makes milk bottles, can be turned into buckets. Breed lumber and sweat to get him. The hoarder bee collects items on the ground and puts it in his hive, make an automated farm with a farmer and a hoarder bee, acquired if you give a vanilla bee a sugar box. Lumber bee will collect nearby wood in his hive and by nibbling on them. He creates wood chip that can be crafted into logs, acquired through mating both carpenter bees together. Quarry bees will act the same way as lumber bees, but will nibble on stone, sand or dirt, creating chips, which can be again crafted into normal blocks. Unfortunately, both of these mechanisms didn't work for me yet, but a fix will be provided in the near future. Acquired with chocolate mining and digger. Dive bee produces dye, depending on the flower they pollinate. Acquired with a lapis and a skeletal bee. Kiwis will motivate animals to breed. Right now, no way to get it. Mod bees. Here I won't go in detail because it's the same as hive bees. If you happen to install more mods that are compatible with productive bees, as a quick example, I have mechanism installed like I've already said, and I can create a steel bee. And breed an iron and coal bee, I will get it. With you, you can also see what it creates. Now to the last chapter, genes. This chapter isn't fully polished yet, and this will be only an introduction on how it works. 
Genes are a way to make your bees more powerful by modifying the genes to be e.g. weather resistance, more productive or have a different temper. In fact, there are only five te categories of genes. All of them are available in normal, medium, high and very high. But before we look into that, we want to know how to collect genes. For that, you will have to make a new machinery with a bottler at the bottom and a piston on top. Then you put a bee in the middle, the leather on the piston. Then the bee will be squashed. This squashed bee material you put in a centrifuge and to get jeans. I will make an updated version once this is fully polished. This was today's video. If you liked it then please leave a like or maybe even consider to subscribe to my channel because I do a lot of these kinds of videos and also do a lot of funny edited videos so maybe also check them out. Now I would say we'll see us in the next video. Ciao!